this is a very fitting interview. We're here in San Francisco, out in the Bay Area at SoCap, and we're actually here with the founder of SoCap, Kevin Jones, also the founder of Good Capital, Hub Ventures, and a number of other companies and initiatives. And Kevin, you know, where, where I'd love to start mm -hmm. is the impetus and the inspiration be behind SoCap. We were doing one of the early impact funds and we were getting resistance because people couldn't think about their money the way we suggested that they could. They were used to thinking, I invest for money, I give for good. And we said, no, there's the space in between, and you could invest for good, on purpose for good. Mm -hmm. And so we said, what are we going to do? I said, well, let's gather a bunch of us together, and we'll add context. And then if you see that whole spectrum, that's like from giving to investing for a return, but also for impact, then you can say, oh, it's, it's not scary. I, it, I, I see it in context. Mm -hmm. said, if, if we all stand together, then we'll all make more sense to each other. Yep. Markets are about messy things. Yep. Markets are about the valuable strangers. Yep. And so I said, well, I'll build a market and there's all these siloed events out there where only these people gather and only these people gather and they try to imagine the future, but they're the same people every year. Hmm. I said, I'll build a, an event between the silos yep. and make it so that you know, it, it's, it's open hmm. and we want the, the valuable stranger meeting at intersections you hadn't met before. What trends are you seeing? How, how is the market shaping? Is it shifting? Yeah. Is it growing? The exciting part of the market to me is the early stage stuff because we've proven that social enterprise can work. That's, it's, it's time to fail, it's time to fail forward, so let's bet on some younger or newer entrepreneurs who are building a new system mm -hmm. and spread your bets. Why is that so important? Why does the entrepreneur need to be a part of building this market? At the intersection of money and meaning is the entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So there's the investor. There's the entrepreneur, and then the meaning is where the money goes. One of the things that brings people from traditional business into this space is that they have a lot of skills, and they're good at stuff, but they hate the way they spend their time, and they start hating what they're doing it for. There's a hunger for meaning, hmm. and then it's to put your skills to work, and then not everybody should be an entrepreneur, right? You, there are way too many visionary founders out here. I think we yep. need many more operators. And what, about, what about the mainstream investment community? Um, who, you know, oftentimes the, the, the philosophy with the entrepreneurs as well, yeah. but make your fortunes and then, yeah, and then yeah. give it back, it is, sure. right? And so how... I was the, pioneered by the robber barons, you know, John yep. D. Rockefeller, uh, that's what he did. You know, that's yep. what Carnegie did. Yeah, totally. And, and so are we, we're talking about, at, at SoCap, um, mm -hmm. potentially a different type of reality, right? Where you don't yeah. have to yeah. go that path. But what would you be saying to, to those, those the investors of today right now? Investors of today, well... I, I spend almost no time trying to persuade somebody who's not in the room to do something they don't want to do. Sure. I like to react to demand that exists. So, so I think probably there's tons of investment that wants to move this way. I think it's time to start rating the funds. Mm -hmm. And so, you want, so the number of entrepreneurs who can build something beyond themselves is what we need. Mm -hmm. And so those entrepreneurs will have their pick of capital. So it's time to figure out who has the best capital and who really get, provides more than money. You don't provide as much help as you imagine. That's right. And so it's time to rate the investors. There's too much money moving this way, so, so the, the good entrepreneurs will have their pick of capital. I think it's more a scarcity model, and it's time for the entrepreneurs to say, you know, how good is your fund for me? Five years from now, what is yeah. this going to look like? I'm cogitating around a fund that's tied to multiculturalism and biodiversity. There's a lot of green money that wants to come into this space. So I think, you know, I would go long on poor folks. The value of poor people who do environmental remediation, restoration, is becoming higher. And so I, I want to invest around indigenous people and biodiversity with a ton of green money that's becoming, realizing that the scientists aren't going to clean the planet. It's going to be the people who live in those places. So that, I think that's the way to go. Well, Kevin, I look forward to working with you now into the future, and we okay. wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So thanks, thanks so much. That's my pleasure.